Hello there, and welcome to Echo Base X Wing Mission Debriefing. I'm Walker Darko, and with me are Jake Ream. Hey, everybody. And Kevin Lights. Hey, what's up? Tonight, we are continuing our Vassal series with the 2018 Crossroads Classic champion Alex Smittle taking on Minox Squadron podcast own Ryan Farmer. Should be a good match. Yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting to see Ryan um, with Poe on the table, especially after that nice long discussion that Kevin had with him uh, for their episode this week. And, you know, I'm actually really interested in seeing Ryan uh, prove Kevin wrong. Whoa, no, 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 no. He used heroic, so no. Oh, but he's going to use he, it he, if he gets some use out of it. Well, I don't know if he actually used it, but he put it on the list. Um I mean, he's playing some of the things that I suggested. We'll see if he does it okay. Maybe he learned. Because I'm pretty sure... Was this after the podcast was recorded or before? Um, this is, what, week five of the Scum and Villainy Aces League? So I, yeah. I think this was... When, when did you record? I don't remember. Well, we record on Monday. I don't remember when this was played, though. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, according to... I don't know if the log says anything. No, it doesn't have a date on the Vassal log. It's so. fine. It's not important. Yeah. So maybe All maybe right. we'll catch Ryan uh, in the chat um, while we're running through this, and maybe he can let us know when they played this game. Okay. Um, so run down the list real quick just so everybody knows what these guys are flying. Sure. So Ryan's playing Poe with Heroic R4, Integrated, Ferrosphere Paint, Black One, and Proton Torpedoes. Lieutenant Bastion with just S-Foils, Neon Numb with S-Foils, Pattern Analyzer, and Heavy Laser Cannon. Bastion's, uh, Smittle... Bastion's Sorry, an interesting ahead. one. What uh, His ability is after a ship at range 1 to 2 is dealt a damage card, acquire a lock on that ship. Definitely not one of the T-70s we're normally used to seeing. Well, not it's not a friendly seen. or anything. It's any ship range one to two. So, yeah. yeah, if you pair him with some higher initiative ones and you put like M9G8 on him, you can do some tricks where you can get your attacks with three rolls, and then when your enemies shoot at you, you can then get the locks on them to screw with their attacks and and shoot at them. It's kind of cool interactions you can have. Yeah, looks like he does not have M9G8 though. He's right at two hundred no, points. Doesn't. So he's just running it as an efficient ship. Yep. I just wanted to. All right call that one out because it's like i said not one of the t70s we normally see so um smittle's running fenral with fearless captain sevor which correct me if i'm wrong that's the tie fighter yeah that if you're defending or attacking once per turn he can spend a charge and if you're not in um if he is not in your bullseye then he can jam you yep and then <laughs> leak in the escape craft which when there's no shields, you can do banks that are green or blue. And then just a bounty hunter with a uh, perceptive co-pilot, which is unique because that bounty hunter is not Boba Fett. And the it also does not have Marauder title or Han Solo on it. Yeah, kind of a weird list. Well, he's future proof. Uh, yeah, he's coming in at 199 too. So definitely that's the reason why he's just trying to squeak that you know extra probably extra shipping yeah you should be happy kevin we got a 200 list versus a 199 list no bid. i am happy <laughs> well there's not much of a bid yeah that's oh good. there's a i couldn't find an upgrade bid yeah yeah that's fair well <laughs> arguably the mining guild tie you could probably have put uh um either crack shot, crack shot or trick shot on oh trick shot for sure yeah yeah that would have put him right at 200 so but yeah List choice, definitely. Something you could do, but not that. I don't know if oh, it's man. that big of a loss. So I need to switch sides real quick for them. Oh, yep, there you go. There, I fixed it. I mean, there is some overlap at, at two and six, so I mean, that one point bid, if it matters. Um, It'll matter. <clears throat> I mean, you, you ideally you always want to give Fen any... I mean, for Fen, you don't want to give Poe that option to move after everybody with... Oh, he doesn't have BB-8, but I mean, still repositioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. So it'll be interesting you know what's, to see what... You know what's funny is... Oh, go ahead. If Farmer loses with R4, 
and then plays if we do farmers next week game if he plays bb8 and he wins i wonder if that means bb8 might be better than r4 huh just I wonder if farmers considered an appropriate sample size. <laughs> Look, I'll take my wins when I can get them. <laughs> All, All right. right. Are we ready to jump in? Yep, yeah, I will uh, start scrolling through the log here. Um, looks like they are already, set up. Yeah, already have stuff set up. Where is? Oh, let's see. Ah. Bastion. Yeah, at the I've, very top. I've got to adjust. Looks like uh, for some reason Vassal is not playing nice. There we go, though. All six ships. Nope. There. Seven. All right, you're all set now. <clears throat> Looks like we're better now. Okay. Um. So interesting setup from uh, Smittle there. Both of them. Yeah. I mean, it looks like I kind of expect, though. He wants to throw the bounty hunter in, in Fen flank, and then Ty goes through the middle. I mean, that seems what I would expect. But you look at that. Bastion basically has to do, what, a three or four forward just so Poe can do a hard two? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're really telegraphing your beginning. No one said Farmer was great. <laughs> he just hosts a podcast. Doesn't mean you're good. <laughs> well, and looking at I'm it, I'm making look, no comments on, <laughs> on anything. <laughs> and looking at Alex's setup here, um, I'm expecting that only Fen Rao is going to be moving that first turn. Uh, set up, we got the other three ships set up for a, a nice um, little formation. Fortress. Yeah, a little fortress there. You know, a non fortress fortress, maybe. Yeah. It's possible. The tie could head towards the middle slowly, but yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, looks like they're still loading tokens. Yeah, they're just getting some tokens going. Um, we do have energy in the top right corner. Looks like that's what they're going to use to track the turns. Oh, dial's all down. Okay. All right, so... Starting off three forward there. So he's going to come around. Yep, and a boost. Bounty Hunter bumps. Yep. Looks like Leet is doing the same thing. Just a one forward. Kind of yeah. the fortress that you talked about. Yep, yep. It, it pretty, pretty much expected. And, I mean, that's... He's just playing the you know the waiting game for that first turn. See where Ryan's going. Um, yep. So everything literally doesn't move. Yep. That's yep. exciting. So we were right. Fen will be the only one that moves. Yep. I mean, Otherwise, I mean, they might have to call a judge. <laughs> Three forward, two turn. I'm surprised he only went three forward, not like a five. But he has a good channel to go through, I guess, there. Well, I mean, oh, I, you're talking about Fen. I was thinking about yeah. Bastion for some. I was like, they don't have a five. <laughs> I was like, I thought, I, I mean, I thought Kevin would know. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start with Alex. Um, we're going to see another fortress out of his little cluster there or you think he's well, going to no. break out now that how many times has... can you do that two just two Te turns two. Well, well technically as long as one ship's moving you can do it as many as you want right it, that is true as yeah. long as Fenrir was moving those guys could sit there indefinitely they could technically yes yeah i think he breaks the fortress this turn yeah, I think he's got a good yes. idea of where Bastion and Poe are going to be, so yeah, or at least the direction they're going. <clears throat> yeah, he needs to threaten, otherwise they can just turn on Fen if yep. Fen goes too fast. Or he gets there too early. And uh, Fen, do we think... Do, does he rocket him forward here, or does he kind of still play <clears throat> it a little bit slower to make sure that all four of his ships are converging at the same time? I could see another three forward here, but I would really like to see a five. Yeah. 
Well, and do you use Fen to try to draw him into the rocks right now, or does he go? Yeah, you do. You use Fen to draw him. You like you bluff with Fen, and you say, "Okay, right. are you going to come down and engage Fen, or are you going to continue on and engage the rest of my squad?" Odds are they probably go towards Fen, and that's why you need to break your formation, the, the fortress, this turn. Yeah, because if Fen's Fen can't take on three ships alone. No, <laughs> I mean he's good, just not that good. Well, he's he's not even as good as he used to be. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we've got here. The real question will be, what does Farmer do? Does he turn in early or not? Uh, does he go around the outside? Um, I'm curious to see what he does. So he's starting off Bastion uh, with a two-turn. So he, Coming in. Yep, he is Absolutely. ready okay. and coming in. Does he boost? Let's focus. Yeah, and there's the formation is breaking apart. Wait, I was say bounty hunters don't yeah, have barrel rolls. I was gonna say, well, yeah, you learned that in your game with me. <laughs> I mean, as much as I wish I had it. Boba, I was like, what is going on right now? Got away with it though. We didn't figure it out till after. Yeah. So what he did there was uh, Leet went three forward, jumping over everything, and then coordinated a boost to the bounty hunter. Okay. It, it kind of a weird angle though for the bounty hunter right now. Yeah. Like yeah, because he can't really come in without hitting that rock. Yeah, and even unless you do like a pre-boost, but then you're broadcasting that he's going to go up towards the top of the board, and you now don't have the option to go in to the rocks if you really wanted to. Well, and I think if he just keeps going straight, he's fine. He's not going to hit that rock. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that's going to close his angle. But Poe, I don't know how quick Poe's turn in that corner, so. It's also going to give extra dice to the defenders, though, because they'll be obstructed shots. So, And we didn't grab trick shot when we could have. I heard it's a good card. <laughs> Will it survive the points boost? Ooh, that... uh, my money is on yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it's probably kind of uh, one of those talents that has been a late bloomer. We didn't see it early on when second edition oh, sure. released, so... Yeah. The the fact that it's really, really good for one point might have not uh, landed on the table for... And a lot of its value has been coming up with resistance, which wasn't out. Right. Yep. I don't... Do I think yeah. it'll survive the second point's cost adjustment? Mm, probably not. But even that, you go to one to, what, three points or two points? It's not going to... Probably just two. Yeah, it's not going to go up to like 12, so we're good. Yeah. Oh, no. But but it's even, even at two points, I would say that's still probably right now in the current pool of uh, talents that we have, probably still the best at two points. Yeah. Probably. Well, and see, so Nien's, Nien Num's coming up, so yeah, Bunny he, Hunter's still going to have a shot on him if, even if he keeps doing a straight maneuver. So, wait, does he have Nien in the back? Yes. Yeah. Is, so yep. he's breaking the rule of have your highest PS in the rear? So that they don't interfere with the lower PS moving in front of them. Ryan Farmer is the honey badger of the X-Wing world. <laughs> he does what he wants. We'll see how that works out for him. <laughs> well, it was fine for this turn. Uh, he two-turned Nian up <laughs> right no behind Poe. this turn. Well, okay, but he didn't bump <laughs> either, I'm saying. <laughs> right, well, <clears throat> bringing Nian in late uh, or kind of around the broad side is good to keep HLC online. He'll have a much better time of doing that mm -hmm. by bringing him wide. And only a three forward out of Fen, so not quite as fast as we were talking. So here's kind of why I wanted the five. Um, you're not committing with Fen, and the other player knows it. And if you don't try to get the flanker, then they're never having to make the decision yep. of am I going to give him or not? And when you don't commit, although it's safer, it also now like so now Ryan could just kind of turn yeah. and go through that channel between the rock and the debris and really lose nothing because he'll have a target in front of him. Yep, you're not pressing your opponent into making a choice one one direction or the other. Right, and the more opportunities you have of making them make a decision, it's the more possibilities they can make the wrong decision. But yep. if you're not even posing a, a decision, then they can't make a mistake mm -hmm. or they're they're less likely to make a mistake on their own 
Wouldn't so you think that's kind he's of trying to let Fen just be left alone for a second so he can get behind everybody. Well, and that's kind of the other problem too, right? Because like next turn, there's probably shots fired, and Fen, if he's there, is kind of going to be like a range three obstructed situation. But what I'm getting at is Fen's damage will be low on that engagement. Mm -hmm. oh, Fen's sure. damage is highest at range one, and he's nowhere near. He's at least two turns away from range one at True. least. Yeah, so I know. have a glass cannon that doesn't have a cannon. Yeah, right. I know, Kevin. That's something we saw going back to first edition when we were playing a lot of Fen Old T. Is you you just really have to get Fen in range one. Don't be afraid of just throwing him right in there and letting him yep. do work because that's like you said, that's where he performs best is at range one. Yep. I mean, that's what the whole ship is designed to do with its chassis abilities and everything. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm assuming Smittle's going to like three bank with that fire spray towards the top of the board and use the back arc. Because I don't think he's going to go into the rocks, at least at his current trajectory. He could go straight, like a straight one, I guess. But he, he risks a lot of potential fire next turn. Even banking one to the right with the bounty hunter... <laughs> I think it yeah. would leave enough room for him to navigate through what is there for obstacles. Um, keep the arcs, you know, the arc and the bounty hunter pointed in that direction where he knows that Bastion and Poe are going to end up. There's only one downside. <clears throat> if he turns it in to go into the rocks, mm -hmm. Bastion moves first. Granted, he has the ability to coordinate, but you may not want to have to coordinate if you don't need to, you know what I mean? Like you'd like to not have to coordinate the focus action and to be able to get it naturally and maybe coordinate an evade action as well. Yeah. Because if he turns into the rocks, there is a possibility he could get blocked. Sure. It's, it's, it's a possibility. I mean, there's options, but yeah. And uh, chat's also pointing out that he could coordinate a boost and then, um, a hard turn back. So that could, yep. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having that coordinating ship there is you can sneak in a lot of those tricks, um, make your opponent really have to guess what it is you're actually going to do versus just what they can do on a on a dial. Now, there is when you're saying coordinated boost, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to follow this. Are we saying like a boost to the left and then a hard turn back in so you have that straight angle? Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. I I'm like, a boost so. straight isn't really helping too much. The only downside with that, I mean, it sets you up for a good turn, but let's think about the subsequent turns after that. Let's say he did the boost left, so he's facing top of the board, and then he did two hard left. You're getting pretty close to the board edge as far as your options on what you can do. I know that the medium base can go a lot of places, but you're becoming very predictable, and you're bringing traffic towards Leet, which you don't want to do. That's your coordinator. Mm -hmm. Leet's job is to remain on the outskirts of the battle, coordinating at range two, and to not be shot at as much as possible yeah so if you do that as cute as that move is your next subsequent turns bring a lot of firepower in that direction and that's a lot of points in your list so there is a downside to doing that all right so we're we're going through the dials yeah stuff, just right? just going through dials okay. as we're kind of talking this out here makes sense uh, um does do, that does do, that tie to like a three bank Uh, maybe just, i mean i mean i think the tie just goes straight and just tries to catch fen uh the why would the tie want to catch fen they're on the Try same to squad catch up with fen you mean although well yeah i mean just kind of so then go straight to get around the debris but he doesn't care about debris right don't they ignore debris oh that's what is their thing that's right you're or right, do they ignore tie. rocks i guess i, I don't even know either while you move you ignore asteroids yep Oh, so he doesn't ignore debris? Right. He cares about debris he cares about. I mean, it's still oh, just distress, but... I just assumed he ignored it. No. Oh, okay, yeah. He'll probably just go straight. Right. And then... That's why you said three. I was like, down? Yeah, like, I, I thought they sure just ignored... You were that. I thought they were like dash, and they just ignored all obstacles during the activation phase. Okay. That changes things a little bit. So what do we think Ryan's going to do with those X-Wings there? He's just going to run the parade. <laughs> Nian kind of needs to do like a three bank. 
Yeah, he um, needs to speed up and get in there. But he's got the I'm room. Not... I mean, he. I think okay. he barrel rolled with Poe last on his last move. I, he barrel rolled out, so that opened up a little extra space for Nian to bank in there. You think you just one forward with Poe so he can kind of move to the back, slow him down a little bit, open up his options? Ryan moves first, right? Um, he, he has initiative because he has 200 points and Smittle was at yeah. 199. Uh, trying to see if they had any indicator there. It doesn't look like they have yeah, anything marked for player one. Um, it kind of depends. Um, I wonder if Poe might three bank down and try to keep Fenrau honest. It's possible he could just go straight. But I feel like Nian Num needs to go fast this turn. Yeah, I agree. He's got to get into it or else he'll... Yeah, he needs to be there it. in the first engagement. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm not sure what he does with Poe, to be honest. I don't I don't like where Poe is. Um, and why I say that is like, you know, it's it's kind of the same thing. All your ships are in one general area. Someone can just point in that area and they'll always have a target. Right. And right now that's kind of what he's doing. So I, I don't I don't really like where Poe is. But I don't I don't know what he would do given this board state. All right, dials are out. Yep. Uh, chat was saying maybe four straight and lock caddy. Um, uh, I don't think he'll be close enough. Because that caddy's probably just going like a one bank. I'm assuming they're talking about the attack or the the shuttle. Craft. Yeah. Yeah. All I right, think so was... So Bastion's doing a one bank here to the right. Okay. Are you just going through the log to get some? Yeah, the just bank, going or? through the, the they flip he flipped the dio and then there's been nothing. We have to restart Vassal? I wouldn't I don't think so. I, I went through the log earlier and everything was okay. There we go. Okay, there, there go. we go. One bank in focus. Okay, so the safe, I'm not going to make a true decision decision. Yep. A two bank out of the shuttle there. Out of elite. Coordinate, reinforce. And, yep. Saying, here's my target, shoot it. So that shows he's probably, yeah, just going to like one forward. Is that what he did? Two forward or one? Uh, one forward. Okay. Yep. So one he coordinate or reinforce. Yeah, coordinate, reinforce, yeah. give it stress, clear the stress, take a double focus, yep. and then sit behind the rock. Seems seems fine. Hard twos in with Sivor. Okay. And then, yeah, there's that three bank out of Nian. Getting him. It's all, I don't know that that's far enough, though. Yeah, it's not. He tried to target lock, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, really it looks like that. he did try to target lock. The log did not uh, say anything about it, but sure. Then he's moving on to Poe, so and he did a slow move with Poe to get him towards the back, but then he got some freedom. So okay, another one bank in. What is he doing? I'm not sure what happened there. He was probably doing the wrong moves, maybe. Yeah, I think um, so because the di he has it dialed in as a one forward, and I think he was he might have accidentally hit the uh, the yeah, hot key for key. one bank. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, that makes sense. so he's gonna focus target lock. I'm assuming. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's a. Okay. Token out there for post target lock. 
All right, and Fen does a what? Fen is forward two. So still, really? still coming really slow. Yeah. Oh, that like bullseye? Fen should be shooting, but. Yep, they are. Um, so we've got Poe shooting the bounty hunter there, uh, and he rolled two hits and a focus, and then it looks like he is spending the focus for three hits. Okay, so he's aggressive with it. Yep. And Reinforce, take one. Huh. Nothing from Fen. Nothing from Sivor. We've got Bastion. So oh, yeah. Do we know if his S foils are open or closed with Bastions? Um, let's see. It looks if they're using the charge tokens that are on the side. Um, oh, sure. Looks like if it's a charge token face up, that maybe that's probably they're open. They're open, yeah. I Makes guess. sense because he's the lead one. You don't know if you're gonna have a shot or not. Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it yeah. That like... that's what they're using to indicate because he rolled three attack die there. Okay. So three hits. Yep. And it's range two obstructed, so three on three. Yep. So reinforce, take one damage. Yep. Wow. Yeah, really showing how good Reinforce still is. Especially when you can coordinate it and not be stressed. Yeah. So this is Smittle, I'm assuming, shooting at Poe, probably. One of it, two, ooh. ooh. Regretting spending the focus. Yeah. So Poe has taken two damage there. All right, I got to update that quick. It's not our regen, Poe, so this is going to stick around. Yeah, I think just as a note for other people, when you're playing against Reinforce in a number stack like that, honestly, you're better off saving focus for defense because let's look at this situation. If he didn't spend it, he would have had two hits. If he rolls a paint, he's going to have a chance to he's going to make a decision right you're basically banking on will he roll one or two blanks and yeah verse reinforce if you're looking at taking shots back just don't spend it in a lot of situations unless you need it and that especially when you're going to have three evade dice i just feel like preserving poe's life here is more valuable than one or two damage maybe on a fire spray mm -hmm. that's also a lower pilot skilled in Poe by a lot, so Poe's going to have his number late game if he's surviving that far. Yep. Versus getting the shots in now. Yep. Alright, so... Um... I don't think Fen hard turns underneath that debris. I mean, he might. He, he could. Like, if he does, like, a hard two or something... So if he goes fast Bastion enough with Fen there, 4K. if he goes fast enough with po or with Fen there, he could come around the far side of that debris that's in the center. You know, if we see like a like a four straight and then a boost. I wonder if he's afraid of Poe doing it too hard down though, like Poe making it look like okay, I'm going to engage the fire spray and then just bailing. Yeah. And then Nian doing like a two bank. I mean, even I think even Nian could do a three turn there if he really is, if he's gonna throw, try to throw him off by doing that and then switching up, going with Fen. Maybe it's all gonna depend. We'll see this turn what Ryan's actual target priority is. Maybe Ryan's being deceptive. He's tricking us all. Yeah. Maybe. Leet stays in the back, still coordinating. Probably continuing mm -hmm. to coordinate that bounty hunter. Yep, doing its job. Yep. Sivor turn probably turning in or banking in. Probably. Yeah, probably a bank in since he doesn't care about the rock. Yep. So 
So there's just still setting dials. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Right. Two forward. Bastion. No, the. Oh, two. He's oh, hit, he's he, hitting the wrong buttons again. He hit the wrong button again. Yeah. <laughs> there's a two forward on that dial. Yeah. <laughs> and a boost. I mean, I don't want to just pick on farmer all night, but. There's a chance then that he's going for Seavor this turn. With what Bastion's showing. And we've got a three forward out of Leet. Wow, okay. So and then Coordinate yeah. reinforce, yep. Yep. And then like another one forward or two forward. Yeah, two sure. forward. I sure hope Poe is doing a two hard down or a two bank. And not a one forward. That'd be pretty not good. <laughs> And Sivor does a hard two. So nice block. Yep. Really nice. Man, if Nian does like a four forward here, he would probably dodge the fire spray and have a nice HLC shot, which might I add might have been a trick shot HLC shot, <laughs> but there's no talent on Nian. Just saying. Uh, chat is saying um, Nian possibly boosting maybe after you know four, go three four forward and then a boost. Uh, if you just do a four forward, I think he's fine to just focus. Like, ideally, that's what you want, right? You just want to get the HLC. In. Okay, that's not what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. They don't have HLC, do they? Uh, Nian does. Nian does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nian does, but Poe's got his proton torps. Okay. So, so he... I don't know what Poe's doing here. Two forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't do two forward. Uh, no, two bank. Uh, bank. Before two... we move to Poe, though. Uh, okay, never mind. No, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. So, like, this is, like, let's say Poe wasn't there or Poe was in a little bit of a different spot. As a Nian player, you could barrel roll down and forward and then link to focus, clear your stress, and possibly not be shot at and have a range one shot and have bullseye so you still get to roll four dice if your S foils are closed. Yep. And it looks I like just want to say he did this open is another, the S foils. Yeah, and this is another reason though, when you're playing the T seventies or you're playing ships that need to have a little bit of maneuverability, try not to clump them because you run into situations where you get in each other's way and you have less freedom. So like the reason he didn't do that, I'm assuming is because now we know Poe's going to two bank over the top, but had Poe not been there, he has the freedom to do that and not interfere with his other ships. Mm -hmm. So on your approach, make sure you're really thinking about that and you spend a lot of time in practice finding ways to move yourself, even if you're fighting close together so that you don't have the situation where your opponent can be like, Oh, I know where Poe's going because you didn't take this optimal move that is obvious. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And and mm -hmm. in this in the situation we're looking at here, that would have been as easy as just going one speed faster with Poe on a straight maneuver, you know, the the turn before or boosting forward. Yep. That would have put his uh his ship, you know, somewhere over in here when he banked yep. in, would have left a lot of open space for Nian, you know, to either go uh, up or down there, yep. But yeah, yep. it's it's good. Or, or good if you had BB-8, you know. Yeah, or or BB-8. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm fully on board with BB-8. Absolutely. Oh, I know. I'm glad that you are. You get it. So, oh, so it's the other direction. Yeah. Oh, so then he should have barrel rolled. Oh, yep. Farmer. Because yeah. he come said, on. "I was like, oh, I thought it was the other direction, but then it was hidden again, so I wasn't sure." But okay. Well, I mean, this is still a good move in this situation. Um, I saw a chat mention that Nian has a good 4k this next turn he yeah. would have an even better 4k next turn <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and that would that. yeah that would also be two two turns of uh, double actions for Nian yes which is what we would like to call the money yes I have to say that uh, lately um, I've been using that focus or that whatever it is, the, is it the barrel roll, the linked focus for the um, T-70s when they have their S-foils closed? 
I've been mm-hmm. using that a lot more um, when I was playing the T65s that their linked action didn't come up as often. Yeah. Well, and, and that's kind of like when I talked about a Minoc when they asked, what do I prefer, boost or barrel roll? And I, I said, normally, if this was first edition, I would say possibly boost. Yep. But because of Bullseye, especially on the T70s, oh, yeah. barrel roll is so much more important than boost is now. Which is I funny mean, because great. barrel roll was so much better in first edition than it is now. Yeah. Right. Right. But because of Bullseye, it brings it back in. And I think that's a cool gameplay mechanic. I, mm. I really like what they did the, with that. Well, and one little thing here, too, though, is this helps break up his, not immediately, but L3 and the bounty hunter just hugging each other for the coordinate. That's going to kind of break this up here. It may not yep. kill L3, because Poe's going to have push through four damage, but it'll help break up his little formation. Yep. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. With Bastion's ability, if he shoots Leet and does a damage, that'll trigger Bastion's ability, right? Because a ship at range one to two took damage. It should, yeah. His ability oh, reads, card. after a ship at 1-2 to two is dealt a damage card. You right, so it's, it's dealt damage. It's just like, yeah, it takes actual damage, not just shields, but yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's not as good as I thought, but that would technically work. Okay. Mm-hmm. But if he shoots L3 and gets a shield off, and then Poe puts a card through, then Bastion will get a... Well, it'll be on that card, so who cares? Yep. L3 will basically okay. be dead by then, but... That's all right. Fenrau, uh, again, going just being conservative with him, two forward. Yeah, Fen Fen is the end game ship, and that's all he's here for. Yep. So, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but I really think he's too conservative with Fen here. Yeah, I mean, had had you pressed a little bit harder a turn or two before, um that boost that he just did with Fen would put him even closer to that range one behind some of these T-70s. Oh. Fen is the reinforcements. And, He's going to let the fight and, happen, and then Fen will come rolling in. Yeah. And, and Chad gets it, I think. Fen does feel wasted here, right? Like, he mm-hmm. feels like you're not... I mean, you're maybe going to get a damage in. Maybe. Yeah. Well, and it's the whole, if you save something for endgame, the longer you wait, you may not get an endgame to save it for. Exactly. Yeah. So and, there's that too. And the best time for Fen to be in a fight is where he is right now. Like th- that fire spray is more or less kind of like clogging things up. It's destroying some of the options. That's when Fen is really dangerous because he can capitalize on your opponent having to take suboptimal moves. But he needs to be at range one at that time. Mm-hmm. And we do see Alex there doing the boost focus. So yeah, ex- yep, I yep. expect that. He'll get a pot shot off on Neon. Right. So Maybe. Poe takes the range one. Yep. The rolls That's not bad. Two hits, That's a pretty good focuses. roll. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not taking any shots back? Well, well p- yeah. potentially well, you know, one shot. He's probably going to take a shot back. Yeah. Un- unless he just... I would spend it here. Oh, the bounty hunter rear arc is range one, isn't it? Well, is he in the bounty hunter's rear arc? He probably is, isn't he? It's really close. But yeah, he might just be clipping him. I bet we'll find it's out. It's hard to tell. Well, Ryan said that he's not, so. <laughs> <laughs> and he only At gets least one evade. I don't think he's oh. in anyone's arc, honestly. So Elite rolled one evade, you said? Yeah, Elite rolled one, so he'll take so three. Takes three. Yep. He takes a damage card. That's a target lock for Bastion. Yeah, I was about to say Bastion's going to get his target lock. Yeah. Do they remember it, though? Fen gets a range three shot on Nian. I wonder. Yeah. I hope they didn't forget. Three hits and two evades there. Okay, so Nian only takes a shield. That's fine. Yeah. You're willing to take that trade. HLC! There it is. Or I mean, range one. Yeah, or, or range one. I mean, it's four dice, whatever. So, so, yeah, but you actually, want to have a crit. Right, there, there is an interesting point to why yeah, you would true. take the range or the range one shot instead i mean the fire yep. sp- but the fire spray has what four shields so yeah, yeah at I mean, this point yeah. no you you would take the the range one shot because there's higher potential yep yeah yep. but he's only rolling three dice or am i just seeing the dice behind or something no there's only three oh, there there's only three dice uh I'm confused. 
maybe a car came out and disappeared so i wonder if yeah it was a blinded pilot um uh if, if you zoom in really oh, quick he shot at l3 oh neon shot at l3 is that what they're saying yeah that's what chad is saying yes shot l3 okay i mean so that would make sense three dice off of poe right and okay that would be the end of l3 yep and there L3 I mean, goes. L3 goes. That feels a little wasted, but... Because okay. then Bastion doesn't have a shot. Yeah, that's... I mean, Poe now doesn't take a range one shot, but... Right. Okay, I guess I get it. Seavor's got uh, range three there on the end. But those lines stay until the end. Oh, gosh, yeah. they went away. <laughs> they got him. One crit and an evade. There, got it. Yep, the expected result. Yep. And then this what? must be the bounty hunter shot. Yeah, must Four be. Dice. Those are pretty good. Oof. Three hits and a crit. And Nian with one evade, so. He takes two shields and a crit. And a crit. Yep. yep. What's the crit? The crit is... <laughs> Kevin doesn't want to look. Weapons no. failure. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, he's also now giving half points. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling I know how this game's going to go. All right. So they're going back to dials here. Um, so what do we got? Bounty Hunter. Probably. Well, um, I mean, he doesn't have a bounty, coordinating ship anymore. The bounty hunter probably wants to go fast in case Nian tries to get cute and use his ability. Mm -hmm. Although, wait, Poe's kind of in the way, isn't he? Man, what yeah. if Poe wasn't so close to Nian? <laughs> uh, man, uh, yeah, with Poe being where he is, that stops the 4K turn. It's a two bank. I mean, really, if you want to be moving in. A two bank fits, but I don't know what else is going to fit there because Poe's not so, moving. Here's the problem with dialing in a red move with Nian right here is you are not guaranteed where the opponent is going to be. Like, if Nian's moving first, great. But if he's not, you yeah. have to guess. And if you guess wrong, that might feel real bad. Yeah, chat was asking about a talon roll and a boost out of I I'm guessing Nian. I wouldn't risk the talent roll because there's a decent chance that he does like a one bank or a two bank with that fire spray, mm -hmm. which would block the talent roll. That then, direction. Pattern... Does it fit the well, other direction? No. I, th I mean, it's hard to tell. I don't play Vassal enough, but I don't, I think you're on the rock. Nice. It was Nian. I mean, do you boost or do you, do you use your action? Assuming it fits, do you use your action to flip your cards so you get your dice back? Yeah, I think I think you honestly just... Ugh, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't like where Nian is right now. Um, I think you honestly just three bank away with Nian and try to get that card repaired. Clear it and come back in later on. Yeah, Yeah. because you don't want to risk something happening and Fen comes in and lights you up or guess wrong and the fire spray shoots at your range one with the focus. Yeah, feels like a good opportunity to disengage with Nian. Yeah, it'd be nice if you had the four forward option available to you, but mm -hmm. someone's in the way. Um, I'm going to guess that Poe's going to too hard down. Hmm. But I'd, I think yeah. that's a pretty strong guess. But Sivor yeah. could block Poe if he knows that's coming. He could. Yep. He could. I mean, that way you just keep Poe from making a shot on anybody, which is So you, you could three bank Nian to where the fire spray is now and take a focus and, and say, okay, if you try to block Poe, I'm going to have a range one shot on you and then 4K Bastion or three talent roll Bastion, whatever. I'd probably 4K him though. Don't forget, Fen should be maybe getting a shot off. Well, this round again too. <laughs> It'll probably be another range two or range three shot, though. Yeah, and I, Kevin, I think I agree with you on Bastion. I think you just dial in the four K because your yeah. your Talon rolls shift you too far. Like if you Talon roll right, you're getting in Poe's way. If you Talon roll left, then you've got that you debris debris that's you have to deal with. And yeah, the four K just feels like the 
better turnaround option at this point. Yeah. Yep. But just remember, okay. Fen's pot shot was the one damage that allowed the crit to get through on Nian when he took the shot from the bounty hunter. <laughs> Let's not forget Fen Rao gave the block that let the run happen. <laughs> sure. Is that a sacrifice fly then? I mean, a I, think, I think it's icing, but I'll get okay. back to you. <laughs> See how many different sports references we can get into this one, huh? <laughs> They're having a laugh. Um, okay, right. looks, looks like I'm we've got dials. I'm anxious to see what he does. Two turn with Bastion. What? A two turn with Bastion. <laughs> two turn up. Poe is 4 I guess. <laughs> Farmer, what are you doing? Or S. He might be putting a talent roll <laughs> is in. Is he well, going to barrel roll? And... <sighs> I, I would hope so, because, <laughs> I mean, if, if he doesn't barrel roll away... Then he's blocking Poe's two turn. If he, I mean, he could barrel roll towards the rock, but even that, I think, is r makes it really, really close. You know, uh, I sometimes I think Kevin kills the fun when he lists like the three <laughs> options, and then one of them happens. But then I realize it's that much more fun when he's <laughs> caught off guard. Because I'm enjoying this part right here. I just. I no in barrel roll. Yeah, Remember, okay. So there's there's the barrel roll in. He's trying I, to catch Nian with to the stop <laughs> I think he's trying to stop. God, God. I want to say he's trying to stop Sevor, but I okay. This is why I don't I don't run R four Poe. Then all out of nowhere, Sevor is gonna four K. Well, but but even though even though we think that five K, so yeah, four K, three K. Even though we right. think the two turn is probably what Farmer has dialed in with Poe, he could two bank there. He could two it's bank. It's probably boost. two bank. Yeah. This this tells us he's probably not on a two hard, which right. is fine. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes you just get too cute. It's like you're outplaying yourself. I a believe little bit. Kevin just said farmer was too cute. <laughs> We've got a two straight <laughs> out of the bounty hunter. We're just gonna blow past that one. Which okay, you got a rare. So had, had you guessed the talent roll with Nian, you would have been correct. But it is a bit of a gamble because he very easily could have just done like a one bank mm -hmm. left and blocked your town roll. But does that? I mean, again, it's vassal, so it's a little hard to tell. That I think that almost blocks the talent roll. Uh, this right right here. Yeah, where the bounty hunter is sitting. Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, without playing enough vassal, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you. I think that three fits. I mean, if he dialed in the talent roll, great. He, he called it, but I, yep. I feel like as a bounty hunter, he he should have just done like a one bank. But okay. Just, you know what I mean? Take yeah. away the optimal move for Nian. Sure. And Nian's optimal moves are red because he gets the extra action. Yep. And chat's saying that they, they're they saying the talent roll looks just fine and that it'll fit. Sure. Now knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the block. It worked. It worked for now. Nian, uh, three forward, just oh, oh <laughs> running right oh. into the back of Poe. So wait, he hit his own ship. Wait, that he knew where it was gonna be. Oh, maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't. Uh, bump. It must not have, because Vassal does the the little light up right, thing. Right. Yeah. Hits the ship. I'll I'll back it up just to make sure. But yeah, no. Okay. All right, now I'm starting to call shenanigans on Farmer. He's got to have little templates out holding him on his screen or something. <laughs> I mean, that was as close as it can get, right? Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. That you might have had a pixel in the way. So out of all the moves that Nian could have done, I feel like that was one of the least optimal ones, right? Because now... Yes, Nian's he's not out of it get, right now. Yeah, he's out of it. He's not getting a shot. He's going to be shot at by at least one ship, probably two. He, he, yeah, he wasn't able to clear the crit that he's got. Because, like, even if he had done, like, a three bank, he would have had an action and his gun would be on mm -hmm. in a meaningful way. Um, or if he had done the talent roll and guessed the two forward correctly, he could clear his weapons failure with his pattern analyzer, and then he could barrel roll into a or focus barrel roll link and dodge the arc and not be stressed and have a nice range one shot at the bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. Depending on what Poe does, 
uh, Sivor right now has a shot without taking a shot back. Yeah, he's got a no count. Because those other two have no shots. I'm going to guess that Poe's probably on a two bank. Well, we're about to find out. I don't know that he could fit it too hard. Yeah, because he just goes three straight? forward. Three forward. Okay, so he yeah. just totally disengages. Yep. So Sivor is just living the life right now. He's going to get a no consequences shot, yeah. And Fen will come around. Does he take a target lock or does he leave the lock there? Mm, looks like he left the lock because now we're on. Okay. Excuse me, we're on to Fenrau uh, doing a two left bank. So oh, two yeah, pot shots sure. at Nian and then the bounty hunter takes a shot that is obstructed against the Bastion. I feel like Nian's just dead here. Yeah, and Bastion gets a shot back, but I mean, that's... The only shots Farmer has is Bastion shooting at the Hunter. Right. Who's double-focused at range is... three, Oof. maybe obstructed. So Fenrau's shot uh, range three into Nian as two hits crit. And two evades. Two evades. So taking a crit. Another crit. I mean, that still feels bad. You got four but... hull, but... Uh, what's the crit? Fuel leak. Fuel leak. <laughs> uh. Things are not going well for Nian. Oh, you'll giggle today. I uh, killed Corrin with a fuel leak into another crit. Oh. Yep. Feels he was bad. like, oh, he's alive. And then the one crit got revealed fuel leak. And he's going <laughs> like, oh, I have to take another crit, don't I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Okay, so now we've got Seavor, C- uh, uh, range three. Hit focus. So, yeah. Average roll. He should evade this. And two <laughs> evades. Easy. Ex- extra evades. Oh, maybe he rolled one right. too many there. He so. had to re roll because yeah. he rolled one too many. Yep. But still one evade, so. Yep. All right. So here comes the focus shot into the bounty hunter with two dice. Two hits and nothing. Thanks. Takes two. Takes, uh, he'll take one damage. One evade. Takes one. Oh, yeah. That's right. He's got the focuses. Yeah, he spent the focus. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, Bounty hunter back. And he didn't have to spend it, so he has it for defense. Mm-hmm. Uh, one hit. Single hit into an evade. Yeah, a single evade. Okay. Now, he has some uh, options to stop Fen. On behalf Fen of Farmer, green. yuck. Is what I'd like to say. Well, actually, he could have came out way worse than he did. Yeah, Neon's still on the table. <laughs> That's true. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's that. But Nian's, Nian's got to turn around. So Bastion's in a good spot to annoy Fen. Like, he could easily do, like, a two-bank focus barrel roll and block Fen's three forward and two-bank and just cause problems. Poe can turn around now and flank. I mean, Nian's still in the dumps, but... But Poe, do you try to do a two-turn boost? Or yeah, do you try to do... Because like, otherwise... It, you want to make it as sharp as possible. Yeah, because everything else, you're just out of it for a turn. Yep. So, I mean, Farmer's not in a bad spot with his other two ships. But where was Neon? Well, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Yeah. In In the dumps. <laughs> Every shot Nian takes is a shot someone else isn't taking at this point. That's his value. Sure. It'd be real <laughs> sad, though, if you put like an HLC on him and a whole bunch of points and he doesn't get to shoot. Well, maybe he just burns out as a three bank and just tries to get out of there and hold those points. Yeah, well, I wonder if Sivor tries to block because the fire spray probably does like a one forward or a one bank. I really hope Bastion does a two bank focus barrel roll to get in Fen's way. Uh, does Nian do like a three hard down? I mean, you could or, you know you what? could three hard down, you or could you could just four K there with Nian. Well, you could get, you could go for the gamble, and you could talent roll with Nian right now, and pray. That, that you don't just, get blocked? Yeah, and, and hope that you're catching Seavor at range one. Yeah, I mean, maybe? I don't know. But then you're, I mean... 
I don't like where Nian is. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I've said it like eight times. And it seems like doing doing something like that, if you're going to gamble on like the talent roll, it just it seems like you're risking too much for not enough gain. Well, at worst case scenario, he gets to perform an action if he doesn't get blocked, but yeah. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. I mean, a 4K with its focus or something, sure. That's probably fine. I mean, the 4K gets him a little bit of range, or... It does. If, if he thinks that maybe Fen isn't going to come fast at Nian, he could 4K fix one well, of the crits. Here's here's part... Of, okay, so here's part of my thinking. Ryan is behind right now. Yep. If Ryan blocks Fen with Bastion, mm-hmm. and he pulls off the Talon roll... That should line up an HLC on a tokenless Fen. And you might even be able to get a shot from Poe in. Fen dies this turn. Now, if Fen dies, the game is totally swung back in Farmer's direction. Yeah. And that's why I say, maybe you just go for it. But if he doesn't... If he just fires... Like, if he just has a 4K, he's only rolling two dice because of weapons failure. Like, he needs the third dice from HLC. Yep. And if he gets the pattern analyzer off and somehow can clear his stress, he might even get a second action to remove the crit and take some kind of mod. Oh, I shit. Bet. I forgot I forgot to kill L3. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Dutch. All right. Well. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. So uh, you were close with Bastion, uh, only a one bank. Only a one bank... Uh, probably he could still barrel roll I mean, he could, and come he could forward still focus barrel roll. yeah and and that that would block the two bank from fen sure he barrel rolled backwards not forwards i think he barrel rolled even let's see yeah oh why wouldn't you go even you should go forward so that you can block the the okay yeah uh, we got okay. a one one bank out of the bounty hunter. About about expected, sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm really worried that Fen's just gonna three forward now and not get blocked. Oh, <gasps> dude! If he did the, oh wait. Yeah, <laughs> the barrel barrel. <laughs> you got a little excited there, but <laughs> I was like, oh my god! If he did the town roll, actually, he might be able to fit. It's hard. I don't know Vassal well enough. Just as a three hard. Uh, Off the board! <laughs> no, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> Ryan's so, having again, problems with those keys, <laughs> with the key strokes. I, but again, like out of all the moves, three hard, why? Why? Like, if you're going to turn He's going to eat it from Fen this round. Uh, yeah, I'm really afraid that he didn't get that block that he needed. Poe does a talent. Well, maybe he got the dials mixed up. Maybe... Wait. Well, I mean, <laughs> I sp- whatever. <laughs> <sighs> Farmer. Yeah, yeah, he blocked. Uh, he blocked him. Wow. Yep. He just barely blocks the two bank. That's Ooh. all he needed. Yeah. Now, just a tip. Imagine he knew. If Poe just would have two hearted boost and taken a lock or something, he could have shot a torpedo. Urgh, why did you talent roll there? He might be able to still get a torpedo. No, I don't know. It's not range. You have to have a lock. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Looks like Seavor. Yep. Or maybe he's got Fen. Uh. He's in the bullseye. Not like Jam would do anything anyway. This in this shot then. Two hits. That's not a bad natural roll. And Smittle rolls three of eights. Okay. Range two shot from Fen to Nian. I'm afraid Nian's going to be dead this turn. Uh, nope. He just rolls natties. It's a valid tactic. Morgan uses it regularly. He does, especially with his vassal dice. Oh gosh, those vassal dice from Morgan. <laughs> Bastion's trying to give himself his own target lock by doing damage to the fire spray. Yes, Ryan, you have bullseye. We see it. 
Maybe he just really wanted to point out that he had bullseye. <laughs> he he wanted to make sure we saw it. Yep. Two. Okay. Yeah. So no damage there. Ah. Oh. All right. Some pretty good evades this round. Got a range three from the bounty hunter to Nian. Two. 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 And blank out. And that's, that's what I was waiting for. Those natties don't last forever. I mean, so the good thing here is um, now Ryan doesn't have to worry about three dials. He's just down to two. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's that's true. <coughs> all, all kidding aside, I mean, that. I think you were right. In the end, had uh, some positioning problems a couple turns Early. there. Yeah. Well, I mean, does it go like... all the way back to the beginning of putting Nian in the back? Yep. It does. It goes back to that to a degree. And having Poe right there. Hugging him the whole time. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a bro hug, but uh, they were just a little too close. Especially when you have three ships. Three ships, you have to try to spread out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now Seabork and K-Turn and Jam. He's almost halfway in the Bounty Hunter. I mean, I guess you could just keep sending Bastion after the Bounty Hunter, maybe. Because he's stressed, you can't really turn. Keep annoying that Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Ugh. I'm really worried what Fen could do to Poe this turn. Could be really gross. Yeah, with Fen not stressed, uh, three bank. Oh. So, also this game, has Poe done a hard two while he's stressed this game? I don't think he has yet, right? Nope. Uh, the first no, turn I... was a two bank when he was okay. stressed. Okay. I'm just curious because I just want to mentally go forward. through that. Yeah, no, we have not seen a hard two yet. Okay. And we won't see one this turn, I don't think, because I'm pretty sure that clips a debris. Yeah. Oh, he's going. He's diving deep. Oh, chat to land down a challenge there. Um, <laughs> saying if Fen doesn't two bank forward towards Poe well, this turn, then he's going to eat his mouse pad. A cinnamon bun would be correct <laughs> because I'm pretty sure even a three forward bank from Poe is not going to block it. I know, but also I would love to get a fourth camera in here of someone eating a mouse pad so that, that would be pretty funny <laughs> well and it's not just anyone it's it's the cinnamon bun oh is that bun yeah that's andrew bun oh okay yep. i recognize his sign on name gotcha all right we've got uh three forward out of bastion probably just for a focus. moment middle make the dumb move with fan <laughs> <laughs> I can already see someone like Duncan making the meme of like Andrew opening his mouth and then like just shoving a mouse pad in it yeah. <laughs> and then just closing it and being like oh, this is great guys <laughs> he looks Canadian with his head just <laughs> <laughs> a little throwback to Terrence and Philip there right <laughs> <laughs> alright so we got a K turn out of the bounty hunter wow really he knew Why Bastion was go, coming. Why well, not just go forward and focus? Well, I, maybe because otherwise you're just going to swing around that rock. And if it's but not this turn, then the next turn, Bastion's just going to be in your in your side arc there, and you're not going to get shots for a few turns. Mm, you I mean, have boost. And you move after him. Yeah, but you still also have what, seven total health on the bounty hunter there? But now you don't have any mods. Yeah. It's only for uh, a turn. Uh, I don't like it. One forward? What? One forward to victory. Ryan's asking for it now. <laughs> Just bend over. Oh, he's getting that target lock. <laughs> oh. Fen's gonna destroy yeah, him. Yeah, he's he swapped his lock to Fen there. And I then... agree with Chad. If he's gonna one forward, he should have one forwarded focus barrel rolled so that Seavor can't jam him and he's in bullseye. That might keep Fen out of range one. But I still don't like where Poe is. I don't like that I'm rooting for Fen to make a bad move. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. I think this right. uh, this is it Hold here. On. I'm gonna get my mouse pad ready. Uh, three, three bank. It's, three it's, bank. It's ready, buddy. <laughs> it is. Eat three it. bank. <laughs> All right. Do a screen right there. Yep. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't need to take the free bank, but it still will accomplish the same goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, far, far, oh. I need to have a chat with Brian after this game. Well, I think the first one's going to be Bun you got to call up because uh, well, you got to set something up. All right. I will work with Chris. We will find a way to get an edible mouse pad for Bun. <laughs> <laughs> D yeah D dutch and uh bun are talking back and forth that dutch thought maybe the two bank wouldn't have fit but i th i think uh bun you played enough fen to know that yeah that two bank well <laughs> it's just the vassal spacing right it, it, and it know. is it's it's tough i mean i still had a two bank in my head you know what the best part is Bun has access to these logs. He n could have known what move that was. <laughs> well, everybody has access to the logs. If right. They... But I'm saying he definitely <laughs> right. could have had access to Guaranteed. that. Guaranteed. Free bet. Yeah. <laughs> or claim. So it looks like uh, Poe's got a range one shot there. Does uh, he have a range one? Yeah, he rolled. I mean, even so, like, you don't want to shoot at Fen. Not at range one. Yeah. Ooh. Not with those dice. Oh! <laughs> Why did he re-roll the eyeball? Um, I if... th let's see. Hold on, let me. He he ro only rolled three the first time. Oh. So, so he he, he re-rolled. No, no, no. Um, Alex re-rolled the three evade dice. Oh no no! But I was saying, why didn't? Why didn't Farmer use the target lock? He, I swear, he had like focus blank, focus crit. No, no, it was oh, it was just focus and a crit. And then he rerolled the blank. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> and hey, that five dice isn't too bad, I guess. Yeah. So Fen takes no damage, and then Poe is gonna take. Yes. Fearless, and then spends the focus Oof. for four. Uh, yeah, yeah post, uh, Pat two hits, two not crits. Quite dead. Well, there's crits. Hold on, hold on. We need to point something out here, Walker. Yes. What did Ryan just roll? He rolled two blanks. Heroic. Heroic for the trigger. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What what was that you were lagging out there, Kevin? Does he do the heroic? Does it does he does it matter? Does he oh it? Kevin, you sound like me. Yeah, you unplug your mic and plug it back in. So while he's unplugging his mic, uh Walker. Good idea. Glad Ryan took heroic there. We got to see it trigger, and I also think we're gonna see it uh convert some dice there. Let's hope. I mean I <laughs> I know Kevin is. What have we been calling it? The Church of the Church of Trickshot. The Church of Trickshot. <laughs> no. Oh, that it's is worse. Way worse. I got robotty. I'll be back then. Okay. Uh, we'll continue on while Kevin's trying to. It, it, you know what? There's a rift in the universe because heroic is triggering, uh, with and as that's... much hate as he's <laughs> spewed on heroic. This is... It caused, yeah, it's like a EMP pulse at Kevin's place. <laughs> yep. And right. I understand that the P in EMP is pulse, but that's fine. So, um, so we see Heroic uh, not only triggering, but he re-rolled into a focus evade, which he'll get to spend his focus on. So just the two crits, which are just his two shields. Yeah. No, he... Is he out of shields? So he's the... Uh, let's see, yeah. Um I'm not sure our overlay is wrong i think but yeah i think so or did to poe take some damage earlier yeah no he did he he lost his two shields early on so poe will take two crits here hmm. 
First crit is Blinded Pilot. And the second one. Nope. There was only one, so we must have had our damage wrong. Yeah, we must have. All right, so one crit, Blinded Pilot on yeah. Poe. And Poe is at three hull. So, Kevin, if you can hear us, um, Poe should have three hull left with a Blinded Pilot crit. And this was Captain Sevor taking a shot at Poe and rolls blanks. I bet Smittel wished he had the ability to take heroic there on Captain Sevor. I mean... All right, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're back. back. Okay, I've repaired everything. All right, what did I all miss? I need to update the overlay. Uh, yeah, so Poe has a three hull and, and blinded pilot. a blinded pilot. More importantly, what you missed is the heroic trigger, and he converted into a focus evade, and then Poe spent the focus, so two evades. All I'm hearing is Poe is in the wrong place at the wrong time, <laughs> and a card kind of bailed him out. Okay. Yep, for one point, it bailed him out. <laughs> totally worth it. Hey, let's not forget, everyone, the 11.9% chance that this could have happened. <laughs> How could we have foreseen this? It's automatically a good card because it actually worked. Oh, no. But here in this situation, not having heroic would have put him at 199 points. There's a chance he would have been able to <laughs> hey, switch hold on, his hold player. On. Hold on, Cinnamon Bun. I just saw this now that I'm back. He's absolutely right. Doesn't doesn't he have a better card that he could have used this turn? Like, I don't know, Black One where he could have three forward and three town rolled? That might have been good. Yeah. Very good opportunity there to, to use black one. So I suppose we can still hear Cinnamon Bun because you can type with a mouse with a mouthful of mouse pad. <laughs> so no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure Chris finds out about this one. <clears throat> uh but yeah, so whatever. Enjoy your eleven point nine percent of oh my gosh, it actually worked. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so we've got, uh, looks like Bastion attacking the bounty hunter there with two hits crit, and Alex rolls double of aids, so bounty hunter will be taking one. And now, and now he has zero shields, so. And the bounty hunter shot Ooh. back is hit crit, and shields. Bastion will take those two. Okay. Oh, his planted pilot. Ugh. He hasn't gotten a torpedo off either. Mm. No, he has not. Okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there a target? Oh, he jammed it, didn't he? He jammed the target lock mm -hmm. off of Poe. I really don't like that TIE Fighter. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, huh. What does Farmer do here? Um, You could fit a 4K with Bastion, right? Oh, yeah. Maybe? You think so? Yeah, I think absolutely. I yeah. mean, you'd be stressed probably range one of that fire spray, which kind of sucks, but... But the fire spray is probably just doing one or two forward anyway to clear that stress. Yeah, I guess maybe you just go for the block. I guess it's up to him what he wants to do, but a 4K, Wait, 4K might block it. So let's, let's determine what the optimal move is and then pick the opposite. Yeah, that's what Farmer will do. <laughs> okay. Um, Farmer, well, the optimal move... It's probably a 4K or a 2 bank. So Farmer will 1 forward. And and then the Bounty Hunter will also 1 forward. No, he will right. do a 3 Talon roll to the right. <laughs> no, that, you know, you're right. That, that, would be, <laughs> that would be way worse. Uh, So does Seavor just like... Does Seavor 5 forward and try to go for the block here? Although he doesn't really accomplish much if he does. I... 
But he's also not losing a whole lot if he misses the block. Yeah. Because Fen's not going to too hard up because of the situation. I mean, you could entice him. You could just two forward and be like, look at me, look at me, and then see if Poe takes the bite or the bait and actually like goes so you can too hard Fen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could bait and switch. That may be the optimal move. It would probably trick Farmer. I'm so ripping on Farmer. This is terrible. Oh. So <laughs> Bastion does a one forward. Are you serious? Um, I am actually serious. Yes. Oh my gosh! If Smittle just does a one forward. Uh, yep. <laughs> so the first thing you said when you said, "What's the opposite of that?" A one forward. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> Was right. I yeah. think I think we figured uh, figured out Ryan's tactics for determining moves. But does he? But doesn't he play with D? Like D's supposed to be a good player, and he teaches him things, right? No, like, D keeps no. his notebook secret. <sighs> and D's too busy teaching his kid now. He doesn't have time all for I, farmer. All I can say is this is gonna no, oh, it's gonna work out because he did a two forward. It's a block three forward. Three forward. Three forward. They're three forwards blue. Uh, yeah. Yes. Didn't... I can tell Smittle doesn't play a lot of rebels. Because the rebel player in me is like just no three four. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, Jake. I mean, uh, you play no, a lot. absolutely. The bounty hunter there. You just one forward. Go, go slow. Yeah. Clear that stress because you're you're either you're either gonna catch that catch Bastion doing exactly what he just did, and you're throwing range one four dice, or well, let's let's go a turn forward. I mean, what's Bastion gonna do that's gonna help him against the bounty hunter? Bunny hunter going one forward next turn nothing yeah yeah and and now the bastion's in a spot where he can't 4k i think it's way too close to the the board edge now so you maybe can talon roll but then you're sitting right in front of that asteroid so you're probably not even going to do that you're you're probably just going to two turn and swing around that asteroid on the flip side had he been able to complete the three forward he would have had a nice focused range two shot on bastion with bastion with no mods Mm -hmm. but bastion at least gets a shot back uh i mean there's a little bit of a trade there yeah this is where it's fun this is like when i play kevin where he thought the two optimal moves so he planned for that he then farmer did a move i would do and it screwed up your plan oh yeah low level enjoy it (laughs) oh yeah it's absolutely a thing Mm -hmm. (laughs) mm-hmm No, it is. I remember when Bernie would talk to me about it. He'd be like, oh, I played some newer players today, and I got destroyed. And I'd be like, what? He's like, they did all the moves they shouldn't have done. Yep. And I was like, oh, yeah. I've seen that happen a couple times. The two forward with the captain, so... So is is trying... I mean, I still don't think Fen no, won I... hards. Poe's doing a one forward? Well, and with Fen oh, being... Poe should do a one forward. Yeah. Yep. And with Fen being stressed there, I don't think you see the one hard from Fen anyway. Well, so he has no consequences if he bumps, but yeah. I would just think he's going to too hard. Or just too forward. Yep, too hard. Yeah, too hard. Clear too the hard. stress. Don't care. I mean, a 2k turn would also be good if he could do that. <laughs> if you no. could, yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you didn't know that the... Uh... Ben is flying a B-Wing. Man, Poe is in a... The new scum (laughs) B-Wing. Poe is in a tough spot next turn. So, Poe, range one for two. Gets one. one. Gets one, yep. So, Hall's down to two on Captain. Shot over there. It takes a crit. Yep. And it is disabled power regulator. That's an ion next turn, then, right? Yeah, before you engage, uh, you take an ion. Well, here's what I say, Ryan. You're going to take an ion, so you might as well use black one this turn. You know what I mean? Because it, yeah, it's yeah. when you engage. Yep. 
So you, you might as well just go for broke here. Right. Hmm. So it's Fen, one hard. Probably. Do you also do you one hard Seavor? Try to block, yeah. Ugh. And then I mean, you you could three hard left and then three hard town roll slam with Poe so that you're facing this way and maybe try to catch him by surprise. <laughs> that would definitely be a surprise. I mean, at this point... <laughs> yeah, because what are we... Now, Alex has 100. Is he 100 or 108 to 24? You can't quite see. Yeah, and Bastion's just a couple hit points away from giving half as well. Yeah. Yeah, 108 to 24. So, he, Ryan really needs to start just going for broke and doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, like a three hard left, three hard left talon roll would be maybe his best move here. So he won't do that. So <laughs> one bank or one forward. God, that, that would be a really good position on Fen if Fen's gonna one hard up or even one or two hard up. That three turn three talon roll. Does Bastion just like three hard and focus and clench? I don't even know what to do with Bastion here. I mean, you have to if you want to get a shot. I mean, I guess regular three hard, but I mean, you can almost get a talent heart, talent roll in there. Well, you, you could can... get a talent roll in, but yeah. you'd be in a really awkward spot the next turn, wouldn't you? Well, wait. well, well no, if you you'd just be far enough turn, away. You're in a crap spot, too. Yeah, he could probably three talent roll, and then the next turn, like one bank or two bank, and right. not hit that rock. Yep. And try to clear it. Okay. Yeah, you can. I mean, it's still it's a, an awkward spot, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm curious to see what happens. Will farmer take my advice and do the three hard, three hard talent roll or not? Probably not. I thought you were setting that up like a like a '70s '80s TV show, like Will uh, Farmer. Next time. <laughs> yeah. Next week, tune in. Yeah, no. Will Poe decide to get another crit? <laughs> it's so rough. <laughs> Did you that yes. Oh my so, God. so chat just asked if farmers using the heroes of the uh, Aturi cluster random move rolls. <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. Oh, that's oh. A, that's a good one there, Chad. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. Maybe. <laughs> we're not sure. Uh, we're, time in the round, there's actually, it's up in the top corner, there's that seven. They still there, have 12 there. more turns left. Yeah. yeah, seven with a limit of 19. So, two All right. I can't wait to see this random dice roll move from Atari <laughs> Cluster. <laughs> it's the three hard, so we were uh, there. No, the, no, the no. Talon. That's, yeah, Talon roll. Yep. <laughs> okay i mean and that okay. bank in will be fine for clearing the stress yeah and he might and if if the bounty hunter just goes straight he'll get a shot so two left bank from bounty hunter so Ooh. still gonna get a shot um both ways yeah but he'll have focus double focus right yeah. and one hard left for Sivor. Like we talked about, come on, give oh, it. Oh, we barrel rolled come away. On. Come on, do the three hard, three talent roll. Do it. <laughs> Chat just said uh, we should set the the game back up and use the <laughs> and use hot AC and see if we get better He's results. Right. <laughs> He's probably right. A, a one bank right for Poe. Uh, Farmer, that's... what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. So the hot AC thing started as a joke. <laughs> uh, 
I don't have words anymore. Maybe he's going for just get those half points on that bounty hunter. He, Does think, he think about what his opponent's going to dial in? I think he wants to shoot torpedoes, and at this point but he, he knows that okay. small victories here, right? Like, I, I got mm-hmm. to shoot torpedoes off. Hey, look, Bastion's ability is going to trigger if I fire this torpedo, guys. I promise. <laughs> Wait, did, did, did Smith three just... turn. Wow. Huh? Yeah, so at least they're playing the same game. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess I just saw Fen doing a one hard no matter what. Huh? Yeah, okay. I one hard. I mean, maybe two hard, just but uh, not a three. All right. Okay. Yeah. Why so, is he stressed though? He um, shouldn't be stressed. He took a target lock. But a target lock doesn't get stressed. On Poe. Did the three net. Uh, when he, he was stressed before, wasn't he? Yeah, so Bun brought up a really good point. Why would you try to block with Seavor if you're not going to capitalize on it? Because that three hard would have overshot him blocking Poe if he did block Poe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. I mean, you could maybe squeeze a barrel roll back to the right of there, but uh, the one hard seems so natural with what Seavor was doing and what you would think. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, well, Poe's going to get wrecked next turn. Yeah, so here's the torp shot from Poe into that bounty hunter. Um, he rolled a uh, hit crit. Ooh, that's a bad roll. And re-rolls into two more blanks, so... Uh, that's just insult to injury. Yeah. Like a it's a one through... Right. So, um, but Bastion it is. Triggers. Yep, Bastion does trigger. What's the crit? It is wounded pilot. Uh, what does that do? After you perform an action, at, let's see. You roll a dice on a hit. It keeps going away i can't quite read it all after you perform an action hit or crit take you roll a dice uh hit or crit gain one stress okay uh so we maybe should do his game versus paul next week jake because yeah. he is yeah. using bb8 that week okay. maybe he'll have better results yeah, vindication but, but is that that's from week the next week right that they haven't yeah, played yes. yet yeah well they've played the game but yeah oh okay because he just messaged me yesterday about, like, he played the the game and was like, I want you to use that game. Oh. So we should maybe do that one next. Yeah, we could. All right. So Poe kind of didn't get rewarded for that double modded shot. No. <laughs> Chat says they don't want us to do that one because Hot AC doesn't have VB8 yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Farmer watches this one. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> Does Poe survive this turn? Hmm, I'm interested to see. So Bastion uh, rolls a hit against... Spends that lock. Ooh. Ooh, into three. three. Hits. And one of eight. So, well, he's got half points on the bounty. He's got his half. If that's what he was going for, he's got it. Yep. So now we're at uh, Alex has scored 108 to Ryan 62. 62. Is this the fire spray shooting at Poe? Uh, or Bastion? I, I didn't see a... No, he didn't put out a... It's okay. Uh, we'll see what happens. Was Poe at range 2 or 3? <clears throat> uh... I don't know. Well, we'll see I, which one they mark health on. Because one of them is going to take a Poe down to hall one. So is Poe. Okay. And then Poe's going to just one forward next turn and evaporate. Ryan's turning his dial while it's on the board. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> smooth. Smooth. Well, I mean, if you're just rolling hot AC dice to figure out where you're going to go, I mean, well, why he's not? Got an item. 
Yeah, he, no, he has I, an ion token, so. He had Bastion. No, he was flipping Bastion style while it was face up. Oh. Uh, chat, yeah, I think Poe is still blinded oh, because blinded. I, I, I forgot about that. We never saw. But they still re rolled the. Because uh... he used the target lock, didn't he? Yeah, he used he, his target he did. lock. He rolled two blanks into two blanks. Well, so it's confirmation. It kind of worked. You still lose. Yeah. yeah. Guess that's what happens when you use heroic. But yeah, so I guess the blinded <laughs> took care of itself. Yeah. Uh, I guess. In, in a fashion. It's like, I'm going to mod these dice. And they were like, no. No, you're going to get the same results. Well, let's see. This should take about two more turns. So I wonder, actually, I noticed this turn, they did not mark anything for the turn counter. So Oh, so it should be turn nine now they're going into? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> uh, so we've got Bastion on a two bank. Oh, he fits it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Small victory, see? I mean, this is the guy that fit that uh, three forward by Nian. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I don't know how he fit that. Oh man, Poe is so screwed. Sivor turns away. There's the okay. one forward from Poe. Fix focus. And here comes the hard two. two hard turn with the focus target lock. Good. I was a little worried Fen was going to do like a two forward. Just call it. <clears throat> <laughs> Chat, Throw wants me to, off completely. chat wants to know if Poke and Heroic his way out of this. Uh, the fact that he's rolling five dice, I'm going to say no. So you're yeah, saying there's like... a chance. Yeah, no. And then here comes the target lock. Wait, did he not roll the target? No, he doesn't lock? need to, right? Because he got, oh, yeah, he he got two hits to... crit. Yeah, but when you smack someone that hard in the face, don't you just want to hit him even harder? Usually, yes. <laughs> okay. I would have. I would have been like, this is what you get for playing Heroic. Wham! Oh, wait, no, there. He did reroll them. <laughs> good, good. So three hits of crit and a focus. <laughs> um, so you can't black one because you ionize and you can only perform a focus action. Chat was asking. Yep. Well, Poe died like I thought he would. All right, Bash is going to bring <clears throat> him hold on, home. Hold on. For the record, he never once used a hard turn blue this entire game. Why did you bring R4 Astromech then? Continue. Uh, he he brought it because R four is the best, right? Uh, I guess, right? That's what Farmer said. No, I think I think what they actually said was R four was the easiest. Uh, well, the episode before that, they had specifically said they have agreed that R four is the best. Okay. But yes, you're also correct in saying that they said it was the easiest. Yeah, and I will point it out again, even though I've said it before. If you just listen to the first 10 minutes of that podcast, Kevin does say Jake is an ace. So I just want that out there. Appreciate that, Kevin. That's really nice of you. We're talking about Jake Farrell, but sure, go ahead. Uh, I don't I don't think you specified that in the podcast. It's, it's pronounced Reem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, so this so, is... Bastion. Must be Bastion. That is letting you know R4 is in hot AC, so... That could have been why he's in there. There you go. BB-8 isn't. So it looks like uh, the... I think he shot at the fire spray, Yeah, right? Yeah, the bounty hunter's going to take one more. Oh, he's going to live. <laughs> you sound so disappointed. <laughs> you do. I mean, um, yeah. I wanted him to kill the fire spray, so he killed something and felt happy besides the stupid escape craft yeah so, the... so carlo uh in <laughs> chat are, are you saying that r4 should be stapled to poe is that what the minox no, said or bb8 the because... minox said that r4 should be auto yeah. include on poe i said they're crazy and i stand by it Uh, so, <clears throat> so I, I actually have I have a pretty relevant question at this point in the game. Um, do you just give up? 
I mean, I would have conceded. I'd be like, congratulations, you won. I mean, if you're in a tournament, I guess you go for broke and you try to get the fire spray because sure. it's down to two. Um, and I guess they're playing for MOV, so I guess you go for it, but... Mm. Cause Bastion's got one. She's got five health. Ah, uh, you can maybe get the fire spray, and if you're lucky, half health on Seaborg because he only needs one more damage. I guess you keep going. Yeah, but you, if you if you chase the fire spray here, Fen's just gonna slide in. Well, potentially well, slide I mean, in right behind you. Fen's gonna screw you no matter what. So uh, yeah, it's just a matter of how many turns is it gonna take. <laughs> I uh chat yeah Kevin does know when to concede. Yeah, thanks Walker. <laughs> I see that that's you to type that. That's a good move. Everyone's got their like go-to moves. <laughs> Kevin's is conceding. One forward with Bastion. Yeah, just going to get out of there with the Bounty Hunter. I mean, it makes sense. Just get out of there. Yep. Wait, he won forward with Bastion? He did one forward with Bastion, yes. Uh, why? Because why look, now, now you get to shoot Fenn, and he doesn't get to shoot you. I mean, <laughs> a normal Fenn player just would it Whatever. Okay. Yeah. But and then he boosts. Yeah. All right, this is... That's going to be a good a, shot. It's only a five dice fearless? focus. Yeah, five dice. What could happen? Yeah, I'm checking for fearless. Hey, look, four, fearless. I don't even hits. need five. He didn't need the focus. <laughs> Wait, they didn't, they didn't up the dice for fearless? Or was it range two in arc? I think they, they checked it. I think he didn't change it because... Uh, Bastion was range two in arc. Let me go back and see here. Yep. You just had it. Yeah. Oh no, it's range one. It looks like he's range one. Fearless should be active. Maybe Smittle's just trying to throw Ryan a bone. Maybe. Hmm. Strange. So he only. There we oh, go. There, was, there he now. changed it, yep. So he takes four damage? Yeah, so he takes four. He's down to one health. Seems worth it. Yep. Now watch him do no damage to Fen. Oh wait, Seabor shoots first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because he's at three. Oh, he's gonna jam him. <sighs> bye bye, focus token. Oh hey, look, you're dead. Hit crit. Right? Oh no, Natties. Natties. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have words. <laughs> Be a real shame if you didn't have that focus. Can see. Uh, there we go. <laughs> hey, he did it! He did it! Yeah. Look at you, you learned a lesson. <laughs> so the lesson is don't concede wait one more turn take a shit ton of damage and then concede oh okay makes all the difference and i like in the chat like he just types a bunch of nonsense <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's probably how he's been setting his dials <laughs> nonsense oh nonsense uh that's it's unfortunate uh, <laughs> <laughs> i mean i do love ryan but that game was atrocious yeah, and and, and I, it. I think we pointed some of that out early on. It was it was the positioning. He was a little bit. He stayed a little too tight with Nian and Poe, where if he would have spread out that formation a little bit more, it would have given him some more positioning options. Um, I think there was probably a couple of times where he could have used you know, black one, some of the tricks that yeah. he's bringing with Poe and he didn't get to use those or he, he didn't elect to use those. And it just shows that, you know, you need to use all those tools that are available. Well, and, and you saw it in our game, Jake, like I'm experimenting with when I am moving first mm -hmm. using black one somewhat early in the game to try to get position. Mm -hmm. 
Um, in our game, it kind of worked out. In the mm. other game uh, against, I'm trying to remember the guy that came from the cities, I think his name was Ryan. Um, had I not just taken the ion because I thought I had an HLC shot on old T. Okay. It would have been amazing because I would have just put myself in a position where Fen couldn't do anything to Poe and I'm now behind Fen. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I think that's something else to really experiment with in these games is, especially when you're moving first with this PS or with the initiative six ship, use it in a situation to give yourself position, maybe not even having a shot, just burning it to get positioning. Yeah. So that you are in a good spot. You do or have to, to be careful with that, though, I think, though, because if you if you use it too early or at a time where you're throwing Poe out there and he's unsupported, then while you might get that position for maybe a turn or two, uh, I think in the long run it's actually going to hurt you. Yeah, it has to be – you have to still practice when to use it. Yep. But I'm saying people should think about trying to use it, not just to get a shot. Yeah. Sometimes it's all about I. my opponent has an edge because they move after me. I need to do something that most ships are not capable of doing that, or that is unpredictable for one turn mm -hmm. to try to get an edge, and it can also be used there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, and the other way to look at it too is if you look down – and you didn't use all your upgrades, that's not like, hey, I did something right. You should also ask, well, how come I didn't use some of these upgrades? Right. And sometimes those upgrades were why you didn't win the game. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. I wouldn't say that heroic was the reason he didn't win the game. <laughs> but like the the paint didn't come up. <laughs> 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 Twitch is Twitch is not wrong. Yeah, hot AC. Um, we need the update now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next week we'll do farmers game against Heber. Then. Yeah. Well, I think next week though we're probably going to have to have a special guest on. Um, we need to get Andrew Bunn on, and oh, to eat that mouse pad. Watch him eat the mouse pad. I <laughs> I think. I mean, I think you of... cut it up into little squares. You put it in a bowl with some milk. <laughs> I think out of anything, that would get probably the <laughs> biggest <Chad> draw. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Oh, what Chad's okay. saying his game with Paul wasn't good. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why Ryan wanted it on so bad, is he steamrolled. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I was going to check his schedule. I, I think... well, they said Heaver was running Blackout. So if Poe's running against Blackout, we're talking about a four I've... versus a six. Yeah, I What's a seen shame that is too. he's running the BB-8. Like, he's running a list that's somewhat close to the way I like to run Poe. So he was sure. like, oh, you should check this game out. I'm running a list really close to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And now, if it was a curb stomping, I guess that just tells us then BB-8's answer. Okay, that's settled. <laughs> Don't don't ever tell Kevin that or give him the opportunity to be able to say that. It's bad. It's just bad. <laughs> um, any other takeaways from this? I mean, it... uh, Ryan's probably a really good Hotak player. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't think anyone calls it Hotak. I'll be honest. That's what they called it up in the cities. Oh, okay, wow. whatever. By by cities, yeah, you mean the Yasa. Twin Cities? Yeah, the Twin Cities. Sorry, Radio Radio TCX Land. Yeah, those guys. But yeah, I don't have anything else. Don't play like Farmer did, please. I yeah, I don't don't know what else to say there. <laughs> I mean, it's it, right. it happens. It happens. So. Uh, I think that's probably it then for the show tonight. Thanks everybody. Uh, Walker, take it away. Yeah, thank, yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight for Echo Base X Wing Mission Debriefing on behalf of Jake Ream and Kevin Lines, Walker Echo. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe and follow us on YouTube. Uh, links are on our channel. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>